What happens when we walk in justification of ourselves, but the fruit and the results of what we're attempting to justify, well, beloved, does not produce righteousness or something that is just at all. You see, there is a duality of usage and we need to make a determination today so that we can be in right walk with the Savior and so that we can be the proper light in this dark place in this day and time. There's a difference between oftentimes what is actually just and what we are attempting to justify. For example, there is a clear difference between a person, once again, justifying their own actions and deeds, irrespective of the outcome, irrespective of the impact that it has on society. And if that impact does not end up producing righteousness. So there's a difference in an individual justifying their actions and a person's actions being justified or qualified, in other words, definitively by a justification process that deems it pure. There is a distinct difference. If I can give a corporeal example, yes, please do, because it seems like that you're just talking in circles. There is a distinct difference between justifiable homicide in the realm of adjudication and the law. There's a distinct difference between justifiable homicide and the commission of premeditated murder. One, accosting, if I can use that term, one confrontation that ends in someone losing their life after the adjudication process and according to the laws and such can be deemed as a righteous kill, as it were. And then something else altogether is the case when you plan out, study, lay out the schematics, stalk, and then in cold blood, murder or take someone's life. 